Hi, and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to take a look at a few ColecoVision games that use the expansion modules. The driving controller and the roller controller. Okay, here we have the ColecoVision Expansion Module 2, the driving controller for the Turbo video game. As you can see, you've got your little cheap plastic steering wheel here. And what you do is, you have controller 2 plugged into the ColecoVision and the control stick here works for your high and low gear and even have a gas pedal which actually kind of works. You just put it on the floor and you step on it. But there's no brake pedal so I guess if you want to stop you just you know slow down gradually by taking your foot off the gas. And this is the roller controller or the uh, trackball controller for the ColecoVision. As you can see, it's it's pretty big. It's um, roughly the same size as the ColecoVision, and you've got your roller controller, which you know doesn't work as well as it would have as it did in the arcade, but it's it's not too bad. And you've got four fire buttons. So that's pretty much what the expansion modules look like. So let's take a look at some of the games. And here is Centipede for the ColecoVision. It looks pretty good. Roller controller isn't too bad. It gets hard fast though, man. Spider moves a lot slower and is bigger, easier to hit. Graphics are pretty good. These old controllers made a lot of noise when you used them. That's for sure. Whoa. And this is easy, and already it's, it's super hard. There's centipede heads just coming after you, just segments of centipede, it's weird. Oh cool, the scorpion. Scorpion poisons the mushroom, so if the centipede hits it on its way down, it'll move even faster. Like I said, holy cow, he's dropping straight down. That was luck. Ah. Damn it. Oh boy, I'm like so dead. Oh, I can't believe I got that. Ah. And that's Centipede for the Coleco. Okay, as you can see, Slither is a lot like Centipede. Although, this version, the ColecoVision version of Slither, rather, you can move up and down the screen, and you can shoot up and down. And you have some very interesting enemies like a T Rex. It looks like wings. Like, why would a T-Rex have wings? A pterodactyl. And your main enemy are these black snake sperm things. It's 
hard to get this to move very well. Oh, it's blue now. Must be nighttime. So you, you have cactus, I think it's cactus, instead of um, mushrooms. And I guess every time you shoot them, they potentially break apart unless you hit them head on. Ooh, that was bad. It's not a bad game, it's just not as good as Centipede. And it's back to daytime. Against the black snake sperm. I do like how you can move all the way ar all around the screen. Well, okay, this is Turbo on the ColecoVision. As you can see, it plays a lot like Enduro on the Atari 2600, if you're familiar with that game. The object here is to pass off so many cars before the time runs out. I believe you have to get into the green at the top of the screen you see that meter changes from red to orange to green each time you pass off a car you fill the meter and this is on uh, the uh, first difficulty level so it's very easy and I love how the scenery just suddenly changes there's like no transition you're just like all of a sudden in the city now oil slick gotta watch out for that See, like all of a sudden now I'm out in the, the sticks with identical trees on either side of the road. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Damn it. I shouldn't make it though. Oh, hill. Oh, you son of a. Running out of time. All of a sudden, we're uh, making a constant left. Did I make it? I think I did. I did. And I love that there's no, like, you know, warning. All of a sudden, you start up again, and you better be prepared because, like, there's no. I could have crashed right into that car. I like the mountains in the background. And that's pretty much it. You just, uh, you know, got to pass so many cars within the time limit to keep the game going basically and the scenery just keeps changing like that holy cow how, how, where'd that come from what, what is that anyway but yeah this is a great game it's uh, one I recommend uh, I, I don't really understand what this means though why is there an ambulance on the road he ran over that he just the ambulance just ran over that car just smushed it how did it get so dark all of a sudden? Like somebody flip a switch and turn out the lights? It's crazy. Uh, well, anyway, that's Turbo. It's a lot of fun. I suggest checking it out. Oh, now it's snowing. We went from night to... Oh, I'm sliding, I'm sliding over the road. I can't keep control. It's like being back home in New York, which I don't miss. Whoa, whoa, should have put snow tires on this car. Oh, wow, look at that, like, just instantly. I guess I must be in another state now. Oh, wow, I just, again, it just instant change from one scene to the next. What would happen if that was real life? You're driving someplace, and all of a sudden, it's instantly snow, or it's instantly... You're instantly in the city, or, or something like that. It's crazy. But, uh... Yeah, it just keeps repeating, and, and so Turbo, it's a pretty good game, and um, 
I would, uh, I mean, so, um, oh shit!